In this corner of Peru, they dance to polka music rather than cumbia, to the tune of an accordion. Women wear dindles, traditional dresses from Austria, and flowers in their hair. And the men sport lederhosen and go in for some leg slapping. They drink locally brewed German craft beer and eat potato salad and sausages. Suzo feels like part of the Tyrolean Alps, but it's located in the middle of Peru. Mazuzo is an enclave of Austro-German culture that is deep in the Peruvian Amazon. You couldn't be further away from Austria or Germany, but there are a few places which feel as Austrian or German as here. Every year, descendants of Austrians and Germans who emigrated to Peru in the 19th century celebrate their unique history. Pazuzo Fest is an extravaganza of traditional dance which comes from southern Germany and the Austrian Tyrol. The music and dance steps have been passed down for generations to the community's youngest members. That has come with the playing of traditional instruments like the accordion. For organizers like Berenice Alas Richle, it's all about putting their unique home on show. It's open to everyone and Peruvians visit en masse for the celebrations despite the difficult and sometimes dangerous route. This little piece of Europe is a two-hour drive along hairpin mountain bends from Oxapampa, the nearest town, which was founded by an overspill of settlers from Pazuzo at the end of the 19th century. It's at least a 12-hour drive from the Peruvian capital, Lima. Most seem to agree it was worth the trip for the fun and drinking games. Others have come from much further afield, Rainforest volunteer Joshua Leibhammer comes from southern Germany. It's a really strange feeling actually because I am from Munich and I know well the clothing and all that because well the Oktoberfest is taking place in my, my city now but I well it's really strange to see the beautiful uh, landscape, the rainforest combined with, with the traditions from home. No, it's, re it's, really, it's really strange. Here in Pazuzo, those traditions have been conserved in part by its isolation. Until it was connected by road in 1975, this capsule of Austro-German culture was practically cut off from the rest of the country. Now 52, Hans Kohl was a boy when that bridge was made to the outside world. Yeah, Pozuzo estuvo en realidad aislado más de 100 años, ¿no? De todo tipo de apoyo. Pero en el momento en que Pozuzo empieza a tener nuevas conexiones con, con, con los lugares de origen, es cuando se empieza a revalorar las costumbres, ¿no? Porque ya se estaba perdiendo la vestimenta, la música, no, no había el interés en el pozulcino en conservarlas porque no tenía sentido para eso, ¿no? Pero del momento que empezamos a trabajar en el tema cultural, se formaron las instituciones de historia y cultura para recuperar esa, esa parte perdida, es cuando se empieza a trabajar en el turismo. Now, tourism has become a major economic staple for the locals. A fourth-generation Pozuzo resident, or Pozuzino, Hans has built a hotel for visitors. His sister, Cecilia Kohl, runs a family museum that traces their roots back to the first emigrants from the Austrian towns of Zams and Funz in the 19th century. Nuestra casa, por nuestra casa han pasado cuatro generaciones nacidas en Perú, adicionalmente al que llegó de Austria, ¿no? 
eh, muchas de nuestras fotografías resaltan las, las historias, no solamente de nuestra familia, sino de muchas familias de Pozuzo, ya que en aquel entonces las realidades de toda la comunidad eran muy similares, las dificultades eran las mismas debido también al aislamiento, al distanciamiento en el que ellos se encontraban. Nina's house, or grandfather's house, is a time capsule of those 100 years of solitude. Back then, one ago, the nearest big town was a three-day trek on a muleteer's trail. Nestled between near impenetrable mountains and the lush green of the rainforest, the farming community held on to its customs. The first immigrants arrived on Peru's Pacific coast in 1857, only reaching the remote valley they made a home after a two-year odyssey. Fleeing severe economic hardship in Europe, peasants and craftspeople left for the promise of a new life in Peru, at the invitation of Ramon Castilla, the president at the time. Castilla appreciated their knowledge of advanced agricultural techniques as he sought to increase Peru's production. But on arrival in Peru, the immigrants found that the promise of lands was not fulfilled, and they themselves would have to find their own promised land. Led by a priest, Joseph Egg, and boosted by a second wave of immigrants in 1868, they founded Pozuzo in this remote valley. With the mountains in the background and the typical architecture, you could almost be in a town in the Alps. Indeed, after a two-year sojourn to get here for the first 19th century settlers, they were looking to build a home from home. The typical architecture of red gabled roofs, wooden fronts and white walls has been preserved by municipal bylaws. The homes and businesses are in neat rows set behind fence posts. In the town square sits an artistic representation of the Norton, the American freighter that brought the first settlers to Peru. As the cultural flame continues to burn, tourists are served typical breakfasts and entertained at the same time, with traditions like this cowbell ringing or kuglocken. Performed by Mariana Schmidt in her family restaurant, Dorfstadl. Aquí se han mantenido muchas costumbres muy, muy antiguas, incluso eh, el idioma, el tirolés, es un tirolés muy antiguo. Incluso en Austria hay algunas palabritas que para ellos también ya son súper antiguas, que de repente los abuelitos las decían, pero que ya en la modernidad ya no hay. ¿no? También con las danzas, este, también vienen de, de una época muy antigua, pero sí se siguen escuchando todavía. While some of these customs have all but disappeared in Europe, they've been adapted and changed in Pazuzo. With no apples in the Amazon, the first settlers adapted to banana strudel. Yo creo que Pazuzo para nosotros es nuestro amor más grande. Eh, orgullosísimos, orgullosísimos, no por esta parte que tengamos una cultura australemana, que a veces piensan que es por el color de piel y, y temas así, sino más bien porque Pozuzo es significado de un esfuerzo muy, muy grande. Pozuzo se ha construido, lo que tenemos ahorita, que es un pueblo próspero, bonito, limpio y ordenado, ha costado muchísimo trabajo. Tenemos una historia que por un lado es muy triste, muy conmovedora, pero es inspiradora también. Ver cómo, o saber cómo nuestros abuelitos, bisabuelitos, tatarabuelitos han trabajado estas tierras con tanto esfuerzo, eso nos llena a nosotros de mucho orgullo, ¿no? Pozuzo es, hay una canción, dice, Pozuzo es mi lía, Pozuzo es mi amor. Pozuzo boasts of being the only Austro-German colony in the world. Now this hub of European culture in South America has become one of Peru's most peculiar and little known tourist destinations. <laughs>